hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl damitani if you're a new subscriber thank you for coming to my channel kindly subscribe below and click the notification bell if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for the love you have shown me so far i really appreciate you and i don't take you for granted today we'll be learning how to make a fang soap so here i have my meat already washed and cleaned up i have shaki and i have beef i have my diced onions and diced scotch bonnet you know i can't cook without pepper and then i have palm oil i have grounded crayfish and cameroon pepper I have some water leaf here already washed and squeezed and I have my okaze leaf already grinded also I have seasoning and salt here also and let's begin I'm gonna first of all boil my meat my shaki my beef you can add any other preferred part of the meat that you want you can use anything at this point and then I'll go in with my seasoning powder and a bit of salt you can use any seasoning you like I like these cubes I like cubes a lot I don't know what kind of seasoning you like there are also seasonings for beef and soup and all of that but I just like to stay simple and safe and a pinch of salt and then I'll just mix everything together just to ensure that um, the seasoning just goes into the meat and then I'll go in with some diced onions not all of my diced onions just a bit of it at this point I like to boil my meat with onions not compulsory that you boil your meat with onions but for me it just gives it a nice aroma it gives it a very sweet aroma that you cannot just trade so i'm just gonna let the meat boil together you allow the meat get tender but not completely tender at this point my meat is boiling already i'm going to go in with some stock fish parts pieces you can go in with whatever fish you like at this point this is tough that's why i'm going in with it at this point now all of it is cooked together i'm going to go in with the rest of my diced onions and my scotch bonnet yeah you can use as much pepper as you want i i i particularly just use them um, i think three pieces of scotch bonnet for this particular recipe and this seven is going to be for two people for two days so yeah this is just equivalent to four sevens so you just stir everything together and ensure that the onions and the scotch bonnets are evenly distributed in the meat you can see that it's already looking yummy at this point my meat is not completely boiled you know because it's still going to undergo so much cooking process i just left it like that and then i'm going to go in with my ground crayfish and my cameroon pepper i like cameroon pepper a lot i like it it gives food a unique smell a unique flavor it's different from the normal grinded pepper just little cameroon pepper and just see the kind of smell that will be coming out of your food so please try to get cameroon pepper and then i'm going to go in with some water not so much at this point just a little water so that all that i've put in the pot can cook together and simmer together then i'll cover the lid and let it cook now you can see that everything is simmering together it's cooking it's boiling they are all jubilating in the pot <laughs> i'll go in with my water leaf at this point and try to use my spoon to distribute it as you can see the water leaf is very small if you have access to more water leaf please go in with it at this point you can see that my pot is looking dry there's no so much water in it it's because water leaf usually gives out water every time you cook it and you don't want the water to be too much so i just want to see how much water my water leaf is going to produce and then now i can see that oh this is the amount of water that my water leaf is producing Using, so I can decide that oh I need more water at this point so you need to be careful so that your soup does not become a lagoon or waterfall because water leaf actually produces a lot of water even though you have squeezed and rinsed and squeezed it out it will still produce lots of juice so you need to be careful as you can see my pot is looking dry so I'm gonna go in with some water just a little water and then stir everything together ah 
my soup is looking good already go in with some palm oil i like palm oil a lot in my soup it gives it nice color but for this particular soup don't worry this palm oil i added you see that it's not too much at the end of the day because i've okazi leaf has a way of just taking up lots of palm oil now i'm gonna go in with my okazi leaf blended looking yummy i love this leaf and then just stir everything together just look at that beauty already it's not even done and it's looking so beautiful and yummy just stir everything together let everything be mixed together in the right proportion mm -hmm. now i'm going to go in with my seasoning cube and some salt you can decide to omit salt you know me i'm trying to learn how to do without salt but um, it's taking me a while so just take yeah a pinch and then stir everything together and my afang soup is looking yummy already hey hey how about the my quite bomb people just cover it up and let it cook together and then when you open it oh my god you need to smell the way the soup is smelling right now oh my god this is yummy ah i can't wait to eat and devour this soup honestly i cannot i cannot i just want to taste it and see how it how it tastes okay now i'm going to make my yellow eba eba yellow just to go with this amazing soup that we just finished preparing i think soup does not take long to get done it doesn't at all and it doesn't require so much stress most of the ingredients are already prepared from the market i mean when you go and buy a kazi leaf from the market they already grind it for you all you need to do is just deposit it into your pot and you know add the right ingredients and you'll be good to go and now my eba is ready almost ready i just need to turn it around a little yes i like yellow gari for this particular dish it just gives me that aquaibon feel like ha ah. i remember when i was serving an aquaibon oh my god i would eat this soup like every day kilo day ah even when i got back home i had to prepare it for my mom at home and let me know let me just remind you guys before I, oh oh my god you guys need to add periwinkle I did not have access to periwinkle, that's why I missed it. The periwinkle just takes this soup to a whole new level. I hope you enjoyed watching this yummy video and thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.